We've already taken a close look at label and envelope templates. Word has many office templates designed by graphic artists. The templates can save you a lot of time, look great, and you can edit them to suit. It's worth your time to look at them closely because they cover a wide variety of business needs. We want to take a look at templates for letters and letter heads. Let's take a look at the words letters first. Word has a number of common business letters that can be edited to suit your needs. Click announcement letters and you can see 32 letters. We'll pick announcement of new product to retailers. Click download. View this at 100%. And you see the basic layout of a business letter. Notice the bold text in brackets would be replaced with your name and return address and the customer's name and return address. Let's make a copy of this letter. Look for a letterhead and insert the text. We'll highlight the text of the letter. Go over to Home click on copy and now we're back to looking for a letterhead there's 123 letterheads that add a professional look to your letter let's go with the business letterhead level design Click download. We'll highlight the text we want to replace and click paste. Now we can edit the letter to suit our style. After the first round of editing, I have the following letter. Let's view these letters side by side. We have the before editing and after editing. In the before editing, we've eliminated the logo position and changed the company name to ours. The return address has been filled in, but the recipient's address is still the same. There's more to do if we want to mail merge. First we'll close the before editing. Click mailings and start mail merge and select letters. Click select recipients and use existing list. Navigate to your list. I have placed my Excel customer list on the desktop for a quick retrieval. Now we're linked to the customer list. Remember the address block we spent time defining? We can save time by inserting the address block here. Highlight the rest of the recipient address and we'll delete it since we've inserted the address block. 
Another time saver we haven't covered is the greeting line. Now's the time to learn this simple trick. Click on the greeting line and you see uh, another format that you can fill out. We'll go with the deer, but we want to use the first name, Dear Joshua. We'll leave the comma in. If there is no first name that appears, we can catch that error and change the greeting to none so that we don't have a deer and then a blank. You can even preview each of the rows in our table to make sure they look okay. Click OK. And again, we'll highlight and delete the old uh, hand information you, you were required to put in otherwise. So now we've got our address block and our greeting line inserted. You can click on the Highlight Merge Fields and Preview Results and you'll see the merge fields that are inserted and if we go to the beginning we can step through each to review the merge list. Wiley Coyote, Remington Steel and so forth right up to the very end. We could stop here, but there's one more merge tool worth reviewing. Let's personalize the letter with the first name. We'll insert the first name at the beginning of the last line. Place the cursor there and click on Insert Merge Field. Click Insert and Close. And here you see the first name. We'll add a comma and a space. Again, because Preview Results is on, we'll start at the beginning. And we can see all of the recipients. Now, you want to click Finish and Merge. If you click on Print Documents, it's all over but the printing. So click Individual Documents and watch the page count. We'll merge all the records and now it shows five pages. If I page down you can see each of the individual letters. This gives you an opportunity to edit just one letter if you still want to. Remember to save this document if you want to use this letter again. Next we'll move to the 21st century and practice merging letters that are emailed.